What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here, with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Intel HD Graphics 630, which is an Intel iGPU found on some Kaby Lake based CPUs. It has 24 unified shaders, it uses system RAM as VRAM as it's an iGPU, and it has a burst frequency of 1100MHz in my case. I'm also using the latest drivers for it as of the making of the video. As for CPU power we have this Intel Core i7, which is a high quality one as its own name suggests I think. I also undervolted it by minus 100 megavolts to reduce temperatures. We also have 8 gigabytes of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 1 terabyte hard drive as the main drive. I don't have an SSD by the way. As for operating system we're using Atlas OS 20H2. You can find a full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Watch Dogs 1. Shout out to the person who requested it of course. By the way, this is the first request on this channel that isn't directly related to the legendary seller in N2840. Anyway, let's get straight to the point now. against your bad nature, huh? 
Nick. I need to take this off. I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll set you up. Three yellow cars. You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice? at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. 
think I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. You got out. But if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll set you up. Three yellow cars. You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. How's Maurice doing? Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll set you up. Three yellow cars. You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Overall, this is quite impressive actually, I mean, we were just able to run Watch Dogs, which isn't exactly a low-end game, with high settings, on measly Intel HD graphics, still, I will show you a way, to get a few more FPS in case you have a weaker GPU than my Intel HD graphics 630, so stay with me. So, what we are going to do now is, we'll download this config tool. I will provide the download link to it in the description of course. Also make sure to register a Nexus Mods account in case you don't have one already. So here's the config tool. It actually doesn't matter where you extract it, but still, I recommend extracting it in a convenient place. Personally, I'm going to create a folder for it my game folder itself, but like I said you can extract it wherever you want. So now that we've extracted the tool, let's open it. 
You wanna go to the graphics section. This is what it looks like. Before proceeding to change anything here though, I strongly recommend you to back up your current settings in case you want to revert the changes later, which you can do by clicking on presets, new. Let's name our backup. Well, backup, and click on save changes on the bottom. Right. So now we can proceed with the tweaking. First, let's create another preset, which I will name low end one. So now what you want to do is, you want to make sure all of the top values are set to as low as possible, except for the window mode and refresh rate ones, which you shouldn't change. So follow me. I won't be changing the resolution for now, but later I will also test it at 640x480. Then, set pre-rendered frames to zero, turn off HDR, render splashes, as well as high precision normal. Click on save changes, and let's get back to the game. So, after going back to the game, the game will probably start in windowed mode instead of full screen. So we are going to fix this by doing this, or if you're a simple guy like me, just press alt plus enter. The next thing that we must do, after making the changes is actually related to the controls of the game. You see, the watchdog's config tool screws up the controls of the game. As you can see. You can actually fix that easily by just reverting the controls back to their default. So finally, let's go. Then finally let's combine the tweaks that we did to the settings of Watch Dogs 1 with the even lower 640x480 resolution. I will create another preset, which I will name Low End 2. After going back to the game, 
Let's repeat the two steps related to full screen mode and the controls, and you will have to do so every time you change the game settings using this config tool. Nick, I need to take this off. I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. 